guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 17 of Spy Classroom. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, it's been a long couple episodes for her, and she's like, I need to lay my ass down. Ma'am. Monica. Ma'am. Ma'am. You want to share something with the rest of us? Because, girl, you, you can't, you cannot say that and just be like, all right, <laughs> I'm not saying anything else. Let the opening credits roll and let's move on. Today's episode, like, who she has a crush on. And such of the girls because you know your girl is still wondering but i'm still betting it slowly even though technically when we got to that episode where you know thea kissed her um and such it was the comment that i got it's kind of somewhat implied that it maybe is lily but at the same time i feel like it is somebody else because even though i was over here like oh is it t is it the teacher because I, I mean i get it <laughs> but if it's lily I can also see why you're slowly. I mean, maybe, you know, secretly you like the dumb blonde and such, which Lily, Lily gives that feels. I mean, you know, because it's fucking aqua. So, you know, hi. And <laughs> I get it. Heck, I'm, in, I'm into the himbos. Himbos are another one of my weaknesses. They, they're cute. So freaking adorable. And, I, and you gotta love them so much. And just like, oh. Oh my god, but how can I fall for you sometimes? Like, damn! <laughs> Right? We've never really known the answer on that. Yeah. Oh. 
No, you cutie. Right. I mean, you know what, can I say something real quick? Hold on. I, I love the fact that she is like, hey, you know, let's stop at your place because, you know, in real life, you know that shit wouldn't be happening. <laughs> no child would be like, yeah, you can come to my place. And you're like, mm-mm. Mm. Mm. The baby was a rich girl. But you secretly were bored by it. Mm -hmm. You're, you're not as good as the rest of your family. You're like the black sheep. Can, you, can we also talk about the fact she, she like even though she's beautiful with the side pony, her hair down like she, she's even more beautiful. Like oh my god, look at her.
Oh, okay. That's the lady in the opening. How are you going to get out without being caught? Jesus. What, damn, you just gonna leave him there? What? No. But Monica. Should at least help them. <laughs> they tried. Because you want to help. You care about the kid. Think about everything that you did for Anato, even though it backfired and we got that woman killed. And the plus, you have friends. You're not alone anymore.
Yeah. <laughs> Baby, they've been running off, rubbing off on you since episode one. You just didn't know up until now. Mm -hmm. Oh. That was easy. Yeah, she's fine. His eyes, they're still full. That's a kitty patootie, oh my god! <laughs> right? <laughs>
I think so too. Hmm? <laughs> but still, no. <laughs> But she did scream potential. Mm -hmm. Talk about how good Aoyuki is, like, phenomenal at playing cold characters. Like, girl, ma'am, <laughs> like, give her her award, goddammit, because, I mean... I feel like she she's gotten awards for a lot of stuff that she's been in, but truly, as much as I love her, you know, her cutesy characters and such, even, you know, with her playing Cure Grace and, you know, um, Hagato, nope, Healing Good, <laughs> too many H's for Pretty Care, um, something about, like, this character and even, you know, the first role that I kind of saw her in, and such, which was Tanya and Sagi and Tanya Evil, like, that role in that show, really, I think, after I watch anything else that she's in, I'm like, girl, that is the one series that I will always come back to her for, and being like, oh my god, you were so good in this, I'm ready to find more characters that you voice that are on that same bar, like, and then for the cutesy characters, I feel like th that's the cure grace of it. And so anything that she's in, and then sometimes you can get the mixture of two and such. And it just works so freaking good. Like, oh, I, I love it so much. Like, seriously, her and, you know, my other, my number one fave, Saudi Hayumin, and having those two together in Saga of Dying Evil, so freaking good. But then anything else that they are in together, they work so good together. And so that's why your girls also have you to be good to be in a pretty cute movie together. Um, even though, like, I, I never would have thought that would happen, but, you know, we have been blessed. <laughs> Thank you. That's so freaking good. I mean, it just makes me more excited for season two of Saga of Time Evil eventually when that comes and seeing how more sadistic she's going to be in that role and how, like, truly, I think when, when I watched that and when, you know, my love of Saudi Hymen started or really what I like to say is continued and you get to see her, like, I, I compare Saga Tanya Evil to Saya, uh, Sa Saudi Hayumin's role in uh, Kakarigori, even though everybody's like, mm, but her playing a somewhat <laughs> sadistic, twisted gambler is very similar to that. And so I really have to congratulate both of those two women on anything that they can do, because shit, anything that those two are in, I'm like, it's an automatic I have to watch. I mean, there are a thousand of other seiyus that I've seen in anime and like I'm like damn you're so good in this role I have to watch you in pretty much anything and even the one the shows that they're in that are not like as good as other ones like I mean this show I've tr I've said it once and I'll say it again it is truly the underrated show because of course there are a lot of other shows that are coming out in like a season and they're you're trying to figure out what all is good and what all is bad but with this and especially taking like a big all-star cast like this especially with everyone who is involved with this and 
giving them the time to shine in their respective episodes and such. I really truly like what they're doing with this. Um, but going into her backstory, like, yeah, I never would have thought that, like, everything that we saw in this episode would have happened to her. This just tells you, like, even though she is the coldest character, now, you know, her frozen heart is slowly but surely, you know, cooling down by, around being around these girls and such. You just don't know how, you know, sad of a person is or how dark of a person is until you see their backstory. Not saying that each and every single one of these girls has a tragic backstory and stuff, but you can tell that, like, each backstory is, like, truly sad and such. And you feel for these girls. I mean, even, um, I feel like now officially we have gotten the conclusion of everybody getting an episode focusing on them and such because I think Aoyuki's character, Monica, was the final one who needed that and such. Um, now, <laughs> I don't even know where the hell we're going to go with this, but I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, and as, you know, Klaus has said, and even Monica, like, where would you guys be without me? Monica is like the glue in a way because at first I thought it was Lily um, but maybe it is a mixture of her and Lily, because if Monica was not in this group, any of the plans that they were trying to do to get Klaus to, like, finally surrender is it, it would still be so much worse. But with Monica, you know, everyone's like, yes, we're on ho, we're gung-ho to do this plan. Like, it's for sure gonna work, but then you never really know, because every single time when someone has an idea of 5 out of 10, or really 10 out of 10, it ain't foolproof, and then something happens, <laughs> and then it's back to the drawing board. But I think going into next week, if I truly want someone to get it on their focus, maybe, honestly, I would like to see... Lily again I mean because once again Lily is like our the person who we're seeing almost everything through her eyes and such and so especially when you're looking at the first episode now I could be wrong but if it's not Lily maybe it could be a whole group focus episode and such maybe I'm not really 100% sure um but I also kind of feel like ew that was nasty <laughs> Um, I also feel like we might get another episode where we're separated into teams again. I'm not 100% sure on that. But, like, truly, anything can happen next week. But I feel like whatever it is, we're we're getting close to the end of this. Because I think we only have, like, at least, what, a good... Four, nope. Six weeks left, I believe? Um, I mean, I think we're at the halfway point of this show, I think. For this half. So I think so, yeah. We only got maybe a couple more weeks. But yeah. Of course, we ain't going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 17 of Spy Classroom. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Drum Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all on Thursday for episode 18. Bye, guys.